Hello and welcome to this brief overview on the ID8 app spellcheck tool. My name is Glennis Patterson of ID8 Software and thanks for joining me today. ID8 spellcheck is a powerful application that is part of the ID8 app's suite of solutions for Revit. Spellcheck is a comprehensive solution that lets you define the range of sheets, views, or even schedules that you'd like to spellcheck within your Revit project. ID8 Spellcheck is for anyone who cares about the quality of the BIM deliverable. Spellcheck is necessary because spellchecking within Revit is limited to the active view only and excludes any text found within schedules. If you don't want to be embarrassed by spelling errors in your deliverables, use ID8 Spellcheck. ID8 Spellcheck is a comprehensive spellchecking solution and includes support for more languages than found within Revit Spellcheck, including Dutch. It lets you define the scope of views to check, which can be either the open views, a predefined sheet list, or all of the schedules. And like all ID8 software solutions, Spellcheck provides important feedback about the changes we've made via report that can be exported. I can choose to start ID8 Spellcheck from the ID8 Apps tab or from the Revit Quick Access toolbar, as I've already done. You can also assign a shortcut key to ID8 Spellcheck for ease of access. ID8 Spellcheck opens with a list of three options to define the scope of what we'd like to spellcheck. The first option lets us check any view that's open, which is a great way to quickly check a portion of your project. In this example, I have four open views, one of which is a sheet, which in turn has two views. Spellcheck will be reviewing for text on all six views plus any text on the sheet and the schedule data, which is also part of the sheet. So now let's take a look at our second option, which is probably one of the most powerful ways to use Spellcheck. Um, in this second option here, we're going to check all the sheets um, that are in a sheet list. If you haven't defined a sheet list, which is really just a schedule, um, that includes specific sheets, um, you'll always have at least the option of checking all sheets, which is here in brackets. So um, in this case, I'm going to pre-select my permit list uh, and go ahead and start spell checking. All right, so our first one here, the word flashing is misspelled, so we'll go ahead and we'll accept the proposed one. And spell check will move to the next one. You'll see up here on the left um, that we're listing the sheet that we're working on. This is the sheet M101 and then also which view we're looking on. So uh, we're now working on a different view. I'll go ahead and change that. Um, if at any point in time you want to investigate something that you're changing, you can use the zoom to element button. That'll open up the view um, and in some cases um, you can push it again to to change the uh, the zoom factor here. So we're going to ignore that particular word um, always. Maybe that's a standard abbreviation. Um, so now we've moved on. We're still on the same sheet, but there's a schedule on that sheet. Um, and in this case, the word exists within um, the column headers. Um, so I'll go ahead and change that. Um, at any point you, in time, you may hit a um, in, particularly at a schedule, you may hit a field that um, you want to ignore. In this case, it's the comments field. Um, so I do want to actually probably pick up on that. I'm not paying attention here. This is so here spelled wrong. Okay. Now here in this example, we're on sheet 105 and uh, we've hit a keynote legend. Now we can still know that there's a spelling error in the keynote legend, uh, but of course we can't change that. We would have to actually open the text file in the background. So you'll get the warning here um, with some information. And if you need to, you can always look at the help file and it'll give some more data about that condition. There's a number of conditions where we can still flag it, um, but we, uh, it would require special um, work to actually make the change. Um, so I'm going to hit ignore and ignore again. And here we are, we're at the panel schedule. And um, I might decide that I, I want to skip that entire view. Um, here we're in a sprinkler schedule. 
uh, but the name of the classroom is spelled, the space name is incorrect. So we can choose to always ignore that whole field, um, or in this case, I'm going to change that to classroom. And then maybe all these others will continue. When you're done, uh, you'll get this sort of summary level report. And if you want to um, follow up on, let's say, the, the keynote example, um, we need to do that. So it'll give you that summary level here at the top. And then further down, it'll remind you, you know, what was the element that had the error. You know, you can go and look at it. Um, and then you can go and change that keynote separately. And then it gives you a list of what you've modified. So that is spell check. ID8 spell check is safe and easy to use and makes it easy for anyone on the project to improve the quality of the Revit deliverable. All the features covered in this video apply to ID8 spell check for Revit 2017 and 18. Please note that due to API limitations, the 2016 version of ID8 apps does not include spell check. You can download a free version of ID8 apps or any of our software titles online. Please come visit us at id8software.com for online help, videos, training, and much more information about all of our ID8 software solutions for Revit. I'm Glennis Patterson, and thanks for watching.